Hello friends, in this video we will learn about Klumke's paralysis. So in Klumke's paralysis, the site of injury is lower trunk. As we already learned about the Urb's paralysis, where the site of injury was in upper trunk. So here the site of injury is in the lower trunk and the roots involved are C8 and T1. So here this is the site of injury. This is the lower trunk and this is the site of injury and the roots involved are C8 and T1. Now we will learn the causes of injury. So it is the first cause is undue abduction of the arm like uh, clutching of the something with the hands after a fall from height. So that is undue abduction and second cause is birth injury. Now the muscles paralyzed. The intrinsic muscles of the hand which are supplied by T1 and ulnar flexors of the wrist and fingers supplied by C8 are the muscles paralyzed. Now we will learn about the position of the hand it is also called as claw hand. And the position is because of the unopposed action of the long flexors and extensors of the fingers and the position is like hyperextension at the metacarpophalangeal joint and flexion in the interphalangeal joint. So this is the position in claw hand. So there is extension at the metacarpophalangeal joint and there is flexion in the interphalangeal joint so in interphalangeal joint there is flexion and in metacarpophalangeal joint there is hyperextension so the disability the first thing is claw hand as we have learned the second is horner syndrome so in horner syndrome there is injury to the sympathetic fibers to the head and neck that leave the spinal cord through t1 so when there is injury to the T1, then it causes Horner syndrome. So what are the characteristics of Horner syndrome? So first one is ptosis, that is drooping of the eyelids. Then meiosis. Meiosis is constriction of pupil. Then anhydrosis. Anhydrosis is loss of sweating. Inophthalmos. Inophthalmos means there is sinking of eyeball and the loss of ciliospinal reflex. So normal ciliospinal reflex is so normal ciliospinal reflex is when there is painful stimulus to the nape of neck, then there is dilatation on the ipsilateral side. So when the normal ciliospinal reflex is when the right side of the neck is pinched then there is dilatation of right side of right side of pupil so this is the normal ciliospinal reflex so this is absent in Horner syndrome then the next change is vasomotor change so the skin area with sensory loss is have is warmer because there is arteriolar dilatation arteriolar dilatation and it is drier why it is dry because there is loss of sympathetic activity so because of the loss of sympathetic activity there is no sweating there is no sweating so that's why it is warm and dry so it is dry because of loss of sweating. Now, the last change is trophic changes. So on long standing paralysis, the skin becomes dry and scaly and the nails, they crack easily and with atrophy of the pulp of the fingers. So this was all about the clumcase paralysis. Thank you so much.